Okay, let me show you. This is what it looked like, but now I'm going to repeat the step to set up the rendering again. Okay, this is quite important. Okay, let's do it. Okay, um, let's take a look at the Cinema 4D, right? After you finish your animation, okay? After you finish your animation, animate your camera, animate your light, right? So now you have to set up the rendering, okay? So the way to do it, right? You see this icon, um, the letter setting icon, right? There are total three, the first one preview, second one the trigger, the render, and the third one and the rendering. So when you click on that, right, a, a window pop up on the output, right? There are some presets here for the screen, for the web, for the theme, video, and you know, you can even do for print. You can export as Photoshop file layer, okay? So in this particular one, okay, uh, this time I'm going to do differently. I'm going to do uh, HD, okay? I'm going to do uh, DB power square pixel, okay? And that means the frame rate is going to be shared, okay? And one important thing is about the range. You change the range from current frame to all frame, okay? And then it's going to render 0 to 90, free rendering none, save. So it's going to be Friday animation number 2. So now I tap on the save, right? I save as the QuickTime Movie H.264 codec and the frame rate uh, 25 frames per second keyframe every 30 frame high quality and then I'm going to do Okay, this time I'm going to do quite different, okay? This time, um, if, if, okay? If I want the background to be transparent, okay? If I want the background to be transparent, and then you can superimpose this video to After Effects video. Okay, how does that? So this means instead of Quick Time S264, right? What I'm going to do, I'm going to change it to Quick Time Option Animation, and on the animation, I'm going to change it to Million Color Plus. Okay, and the quality turn to be best quality. Why I want to do a best quality now? Because I do not care about the file size yet. Because the file, the work I'm doing is not done. You know, I want to mix. You know, this logo, Lord Hayden, right, with something else in After Effects. So this means I want to add. You know or edit this video. So I want to maintain the quality of my video, you know, as good as possible. So in this case here, I select animation, 25 frame per second, keyframe every 25 frame, million color plus, best quality, okay? Best quality. Uh -huh. And then I click OK, where I'm going to save it as animation number two, right? And then one important thing here, Alpha channel. You have to check alpha channel. What happened? Alpha channel. It means the background will become transparent. I can mix, you know, something else behind it. Something like that. Okay. So let's do this, right? And then cross this button and then save it. Right? And then click on the render button is the second one, okay? The second one from color. And now I'm going to hit this, click that. So it's going to start render, okay? All right, okay, now I'm going to go to help you guys 